It's one of the main priorities decided by the EU leaders when they fix the directions for the next five years. Build a European energy union. It's crucial for the economy, for Europe's security and to fight climate change. An effective energy union can fundamentally improve the situation in Europe by ensuring cheap, sustainable and secure energy for all states, companies and citizens. The conflict between Russia and Ukraine and a row over gas prices highlights the urgency for the EU to increase its energy security. More than half of our energy consumption is imported. This costs us one billion a day. This means that we have to take measures, especially in the current geopolitical context, to first of all solve some of the problems in our infrastructure, but also to reduce our external dependence, especially for those countries who are dependent on a single supplier. The EU depends more and more on gas from external suppliers. When gas is imported from different sources and contracts are flexible, things are fine, says European Council President Donald Tusk. But most bilateral contracts with Europe's dominant supplier Russia are concluded on a long-term basis, sometimes more than 20 years, and that can be unhealthy, Tusk says. The EU's gas market was discussed by EU leaders at their spring summit in March. All leaders agreed to reinforce transparency in the gas market, so suppliers cannot abuse their position to break EU law and reduce our energy security. Pooling energy resources across the EU is another way to ensure energy security. But in order to achieve this, renovation and better interconnections of electricity grids and gas pipelines are needed. So that energy surpluses in one member state can be easily channeled to another member state with a shortage. Hier ist Europa schon erheblich vorangekommen, wenn ich daran denke, dass wir die Verbindungen zwischen den Mitgliedstaaten verbessert haben, aber auch mit Reverse Flow jetzt die Ukraine unterstützen konnten. So zeigt sich, dass es richtig war, darauf zu setzen, dass alle Staaten auch erreichbar sind für Gaspipelines. Recently, leaders of France, Spain and Portugal agreed in Madrid to double the electricity interconnection capacity between their three countries and to start a major gas project. Y ese es el sino de los tiempos y de nuestro proyecto común, la integración europea. Unir, integrar y conectar. Ya acabamos con las fronteras artificiales entre nosotros y ahora queremos acabar con las fronteras naturales. Meanwhile, in the EU's northern corner, Lithuania opened its own LNG floating terminal in late 2014, labeled Independence. With this terminal, the Baltic state not only reduces its previously 100% dependency on Russia, but can also supply its neighbours. Achieving 10% interconnection is the goal proposed by the European Commission in its Energy Union plan. It will require serious investment. It is estimated that in the next two decades we will need 200 billion a year to upgrade our current system. Uh, not only to meet future demand, but simply also to replace the existing infrastructure. What we need to do is to give a vision to that, a direction to that, so that the member states, the market players, make the right investments. Investments which in turn will not only generate economic growth and more jobs in the energy sector, but will also make energy cheaper. This is crucial for Europe's competitiveness, at a time when energy bills are 30% more expensive in Europe than in the United States. Cleaner energy is a very important dimension of Europe's energy union plan. The UN Climate Change Conference, which will take place in Paris this year, provides a momentum for a big push for more energy efficiency and a new generation of renewables. The EU is at the forefront of the decarbonisation effort and it wants other countries to follow. Donc je, je remercie euh, l'Europe d'apporter euh, la première, sa contribution pour euh, la conférence de Paris sur le climat. With a target of 40% cut in greenhouse gas emissions by 2030, the EU leads the world's fight against climate change. The energy union is the main driving force to reach that target.